You would think that when I was in the audience like you are right now and earlier in my career that I was really paying attention to what everybody was telling me and doing all the right things to get ahead. There could be nothing further from the truth. I was such a bonehead early in my career. I made all the wrong decisions. If someone told me the right thing to do, I did the exact opposite. Everything that I learned, I had to learn from experience. It just had to happen to me for me to learn it and figure out how not to make those same mistakes next time. I'm gonna to talk to you about three things in particular. The things that I wish that I had listened to, because I'm sure somebody told me these three things. I, I really wish I could say I learned them early in my career, but I'm, I'm still learning. And some of these things I've just learned. One of the first things I learned, and that was that the, the path to success is not a straight line. I learned that first when I was an application engineer in robotics. So I was designing robotic systems. I was 23 years old at the time, um, traveling the world. Life couldn't have been better. Um, then I got laid off, thought it was the end of the world. Turned out that was the very best thing that could have happened to me because it changed the path of my career. So what I learned from that is that setbacks are just early stage opportunities. When things don't go my way, I'm pretty sure that it's for a reason, and all I have to do is pay attention. Don't keep looking behind me thinking, what happened, what if, I should have. You're gonna have setbacks, detours, you're gonna have the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. The second thing I'll share with you is you have to be heard. Given the chance to ask a question, always be heard always have the initiative, you have an opinion, that's gonna do more for your career than just about anything else. I learned that, um, whereas the first thing I learned was in my 20s I told you about. This was a big lesson that I learned uh, the first time uh, in my 40s. I was working for a company and I was the business development manager. Um, my job was to come up with ideas for new products. We had an extensive IP portfolio, so I said, you know, this is a great job, I love it, but I had bigger ideas. The CEO came to me one day and said, our customers keep after us, we were a machine company, uh, automation company, and they want us to, to write more software. We had a very small software department. I had an idea that we should actually start a software division. That gave me the opportunity to be heard. So I told him, well, what they're telling you is that they wanna, they wanna spend money. They, they want to give us their money to develop more software. Why don't we do that? Let's start a software division. The CEO at first was like, that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. But I kept at it, kept at it, kept at it. Anybody who cared to listen, I was telling them. Eventually, the CEO got it. He took it to the board. The board got it right away. Who's going to run this thing? My hand goes up. I'll run it. I worked at a software company. I was the director of sales and marketing. I'm the guy you want. So I got the opportunity. That uh, division is still there today. It's still their most profitable di uh, division to date. That's the first time I learned that. Be heard. The third thing that I wanted to share with you is about embracing change. Now, if you forget everything that I've set up till now, embracing change is the most important thing that you can ever do. So, as CEO, my job today as, as an executive leader is all about change. It's about driving change in an organization, doing things that organization hasn't done before. When I do that, I can be sure of, of three things. Number one, about 20% of the people that I'm, that I'm trying to push towards this change are gonna hate the idea. I also know that about 20% are gonna embrace it. And about 60% are in the middle. They can be persuaded either way. As a leader, what I'm going to do, I'm going to ignore the 20% that are going to fight me, because they're going to fight me anyway. I'm going to focus on the 20% of people who are embracing that change. When the organization moves forward, those are the people where I'm going to, who I'm going to choose my leaders from, because they're going to help me convince that 60% that's in the middle to move forward. So if you're one of those people that embrace change, you will be seen. I guarantee you will be seen and you're gonna be in line to get those, those really primo positions that, that you really want. So, so those are the things that, that I, had, I wished I had, had paid attention to earlier, but as you see, it's never late. I'm gonna leave you with um, one of my favorite quotes. It's from Abraham Lincoln. 
it says the best way to predict your future is to create it. You create your future. And all the things that I talk about, the three things that I've, I've shared with you today, if you think about it, it's about creating your future. The first thing is, no matter what happens to you, expect your career is not going to go like you want it. But that's opportunity. So take advantage of it. Uh, being heard, that's taking charge. That's creating your future because you won't be the, the shrinking violet over in a corner while everyone else is moving forward. The, everyone is always going to know when you're in the meeting and over time, they're going to expect you to speak up. And then thirdly, embrace change. There's no better way to move forward with your career and achieve the heights that you want to achieve than embracing change. Thank you.